Hey everybody, Johnny K here with Master Photography Now. Today we're going to be critiquing a very famous image of the sailor kissing the nurse at the end of World War II. But before we do, please go to Master Photography Now and subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Please like the video and share it with your friends. Also, put a comment below letting me know what you think and also what you would like to learn about. The more you can do this, the more it helps the channel so I can make more videos for you guys and we can grow together. I didn't know much about this photo uh, until I actually looked it up and did a little research on it. But it's a photo by Alfred Eisenstadt and it shows a U.S. sailor embracing and kissing a stranger, a dental assistant, actually not a nurse, on Victory Over Japan Day. And it was published about a week later in Life magazine about you know a lot of people who were celebrating at the time. And uh, it was given a full page display and kissing was a favorite pose encouraged by media photographers of service personnel during the war. But Eisenstadt was photographing a spontaneous event that occurred in Times Square soon before the announcement of the end of the war with Japan. Uh, a couple of things I, I found out when I looked into this was, um, you know, obviously she, he didn't know her. Uh, <laughs> he, he was just uh, grabbed her and kissed her. And uh, you know what that would be called today here in 2020, sexual assault. So um, different times, different place, you know, and uh, the photojournalists at the time were encouraging the servicemen to kiss people to celebrate the end of the war. Uh, I read a little bit more into the story about these actual people. And uh, this particular uh, serviceman, he was in a movie with his girlfriend at the time. And people came in banging on the doors of the theater and they ran out into the street saying, victory, victory. And so this guy was drunk and he was running down the street, grabbing and kissing women all down the street with his girlfriend watching. To be fair, they weren't engaged yet, but she said she wasn't upset about it uh, because it was a big uh, celebration. And um, so he just grabs this woman and she later said that he just grabbed her very tightly and kissed her. He sa she said, I had nothing to do with it. But he grabbed her and kissed her because she was wearing a nurse uniform. And the photographer who took this image, his side of the story was he was photographing this guy running down the street kissing a bunch of people, but he didn't really like the pictures. And so he noticed this person wearing white and he was hoping that he would run over and kiss this person white because the white would have more contrast and stand out in front of the you know the dark navy uniform and as luck would have it he did and so he was able to fire off uh, two or three images uh, as fast as you can with a manual wind like a camera and uh, you know this is the one that he settled on because you have great uh, not only a good composition, but great expressions from people in the background. Um, interesting thing to note is it's such a popular image that you can actually see a gigantic statue of it in San Diego, as well as four other cities, including Pearl Harbor, New York, Florida, and uh, one other city I'm not thinking of at the moment. Um, but uh, if you look at the image... It's, uh, it's technically, you know, I mean, compositionally, it's pretty good. Um, here's the, another image that he was choosing from. This one actually is a bit more blurry if you look at it. Uh, and then you also have this guy who blocked the people in the background uh, compared to these guys. These guys are great because they're kind of laughing, chuckling, chuckling about it here. Um, and the other thing I wanted to say is there was actually another photographer there taking a picture from a different angle. And uh, this one wasn't as widely publicized just because you don't have the same composition. You know, it's not showing you as much of the setting. Um, and uh, frankly, the other guy nailed it and got the limelight. So this is the shot. And uh, if, you, if you look, um, you can see all the great expressions. You can see where he is. It very much looks like New York. And uh, if you look closely, you can see he's got like a death kung fu grip on her hair. Look, he's got his her head 
like basically in an uh, like a choke hold here of some kind and she's kind of looking stressed out a little bit grabbing her dress not quite knowing what to do so it's kind of funny but um you know obviously different time you know if this was today and somebody be filing a lawsuit you can bet but um anyway it, it, compositionally it works um technically i just thought i could say a few things about it uh one thing that i would like to do is you know just keep you more in here and so i'm noticing this dark kind of shadowy area down here and these light areas of the street here and this super bright area here that just kind of pulls you off the page so really i would want to make a brush here's your here's your brush icon up here and you can lower the exposure and the highlights and then use the parentheses on the keyboard to make the brush bigger and smaller and then just go in and paint in the areas that should be darker. And let's just paint a heck of a lot for the heck of it. All right, we'll go around here, come up here, and we'll just paint a lot darker. Okay, and then we'll finish on this building over here. There we go. Okay, and so everything's a lot darker. It might be a little too dark. Let's lighten it up just a little bit. There we go and then i actually want to make a new brush and we'll do the opposite so we'll lighten the exposure a little bit maybe lighten the shadows a little bit and we'll go in and we'll actually make their faces and maybe her torso a little lighter there you go maybe his kung fu death grip here we'll lighten that just a tad and that way it's keeping you more in here now so if you go back and look at the original you can tell the emphasis is uh, much different. So if you go back in here, then it's much nicer and it keeps you in the center of the image. Now this is 1945, uh, you know, they didn't have Photoshop. Uh, if it was me, I would probably go in and, you know, take out some of this trash down here. I can't find the, uh, there it is. You know, there's a little bit of trash. You could take it out if you like. Just real quick and dirty here. You know, something like that. Obviously, you know, if you wanted to go in and really do this picture up nice, you could be meticulous about it. You know, that's, uh, you know, that's not a good example. But you get the idea. You can go in and take out the garbage. And if you darken the outer areas and the bright areas and then just have the focus be in here on them and you could still these guys with their light face and their light costume looking over going hey what's happening oh this guy's hammered he just grabbed that girl and kissed her out of nowhere so apparently he did this to a bunch of people that's pretty crazy his girlfriend must have been pretty understanding um so so there you have it with the uh sailor kissing the nurse and um one more funny thing i thought i'd show you they actually reunited these people they found out who they were and they reunited them and i think it was 2012 or 14 and uh got them together and they asked them to reenact the kiss and uh, she she disagreed this time which i thought was cool because uh they were married they were married to different people uh and lastly after he died in the, on one of the uh statues somebody decided to spray paint a hashtag me too on the poor nurse's leg so there you have it there's the uh sailor kissing the nurse at the end of world war ii let me know what you thought of this video and if you would have done anything different to the image and uh just what you think in general of uh, the topic now please also let me know in the comments below what images you would like me to critique and you can also send your own if you like to john at kemmerling.com go ahead and subscribe to master photography now put a like on the video and please share it with your friends for master photography now this is johnny k see you next time